empathy is the antidote to apathy. Okay, right, I know I just talked in a circle. Apathy blocks empathy. Empathy is a cure for apathy. And so, right, the circle has got to be broken. I don't know if we can talk enough about empathy, the power of empathy, the importance of learning empathy, the importance of really feeling what another person feels and really experiencing life through their eyes and their experiences. Hello, I'm Dr. David Hawkins, director of the Marriage Recovery Center, where we specialize in narcissism and emotional abuse. And I've discovered that there are many, many blocks to empathy and empathy is absolutely critical to holding a relationship together, to feel cared about. That empathy where we walk in another's shoes, where we experience life through their eyes, where we know what it's like to be them. And then we're drawn, because of feeling empathy, we're drawn to feel compassion and we're drawn to offering a helping hand to whatever troubles our mate. And so what I've discovered is that apathy is a big block to empathy. Apathy, either not caring enough about your mate or You've got so many other troubled feelings that they become a block to caring about your mate. Or perhaps you may even be too lazy. You become apathetic. You're, you're too lazy to really carry another's burdens, to really care for what troubles them. So apathy is a block to empathy. And curiously enough, empathy is the antidote to apathy. Okay, right, I know I just talked in a circle. Apathy blocks empathy. Empathy is a cure for apathy. And so, right, the circle has got to be broken. So we've got to learn, which it can be learned. We've got to care enough, and that might be a verb, to care and to be caring. And as we are caring, and as we practice caring and really listening and really tuning into our mate, then we start feeling empathetic and our apathy begins to decrease. This takes incredible effort, though. I know we're, we're busy. We're frustrated. We may be upset with our mate. We may feel resentment. We may have lots of different blocks. And yet... Empathy is the antidote to apathy. Apathy is the block to empathy. All right, so no matter where you find yourself in your relationship, everybody, everybody, whether you've been victimized by emotional abuse or whether you've been the perpetrator of emotional abuse, empathy is what is going to help bring a true connection and empathy builds upon itself. All right, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you'll think about this. I hope you'll break down that empathy and build up that empathy to break the yoke of emotional abuse in your relationship. All right, take care. God bless. Push that subscribe button.